the unexpected items. Ruben Lai, the Misty Boys! Boys! Swimming will say the word at the end of each line! Swimming by Boxing Boys! <laughs> There's big things that have happened viral-wise. Mm. So we've had gap year. Um, um, yeah, we have. Oh, what's this very serious message about Africa? I better give some money. <laughs> yeah, mate. Free drinks all night. I was so lashed. I was like the last of the Mohicans. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was doing that sketch live for probably about two years um, before it, it went viral. So, I mean. It, Whilst it looks like I've just decided to sit in someone's front garden and get a camera and film it, which is, which is what happened. Um, there, there were months of work and, and lots of live shows that went into that and where the, the sketch changed and, and formed and came its, became its kind of final uh, product. <laughs> yeah, literally eating bangers and lash. Yeah, yeah literally wearing a lash mina. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no. You are so right, Tarquin, because it's all about raising awareness. <laughs> like that. Jerry Halliwell gave a speech, just made us so much more awar. And, th and then there was a video uplink to actual Haiti. And they were like, we need you to be awar. We were like, we're so awar. <laughs> I think they realised how awar we were. Some of the actual lines from that gap year video, I'd never heard before. You know, you, you, you improvise them on the day, like the... You know, a couple of the just like Fulham and yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. The two came on, came on just that day. Um, I remember Tarquin only appeared when we were doing a St Paul's uh, uh, gig because I, I was calling Charlie Tarquin, I think. <laughs> For some time. I don't, I don't, because um, yeah, I don't, overheard someone being called Tarquin. I thought it was a funny name. Um, no offense to anyone called Tarquin. I just, it's a great name. It's a great name. There's a lot of people watching this called that right now. It's like, oh, God, how fancy. A lot of kings of Rome watch your uh, <laughs> historical reference. You probably wouldn't. Yeah. There's a lot of people watching it who are called that right now, but they're going to go and change their yeah. name immediately <laughs> afterwards. Well, they weren't called it yesterday. <laughs> That's it, I've got them all. <laughs> One of them had an actual tour of gratitude. You know? If we don't raise more awareness, more children will literally die. Yeah! There was a vodka luge and a chocolate fountain. I was like, ah, got my face went blue. Ah, 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 It's been great for the group. Uh, it meant that we got a lot of bookings. Tom's just getting his nipple out behind the <laughs> behind the camera. Um, uh, you know, that's uh, that's why they take his videos down off YouTube. Um, uh, it, videos, I, oh yeah, uh, Tom Tom wrote a thing called Newport State of Mind which uh, went, went hugely viral. Um, and then apparently someone wrote a, a letter to EMI, told them it was infringing copyright as it got over the hits of Gap Year. I, you know, I don't know, I don't know what happened. It's a really interesting way to actually have your stuff taken off. And, and then, uh, yeah, he was, the lawyers moved in and he got taken down. So I remain the most viral of the group. <laughs> the, uh, the gonorrhea of the group <laughs> to his syphilis. <laughs> oh, me. I had to take a tactical gender, yeah. <laughs> Seriously though, heady mix, it was like Nesquik. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah, just so lashed. I, I, I was like Martin Sheen, yeah. Apocalash now, yeah. <laughs> you also got a reply, didn't you, from um, Goldie Looking Chain? Oh yeah, we got the, uh, we got the video, video response, which was quite funny. I was, um, I was going, I, was, I do my usual thing, I do a solo show as well, and that's in the morning, and on the way to the show every morning, I sort of check, I checked my phone to see how many hits uh, Newport was on, and uh, somebody saw a Goldie looking chain video, a couple underneath. So I gave, uh, I gave my friends a call, who I'd wrote the video with, and we were laughing about the fact that someone had told me six months ago that I was going to be in a comedy beef with Goldie looking chain. Uh, I probably would have asked them who their crack dealer was, but, uh, <laughs> but it turns out we are, which is quite funny. Their video's still up, though, upsettingly. Okay, on three, because you brought this lovely cake, let's make a wish and blow out the candles. Okay. Sounds good. Okay, one, two, three. Mm. <laughs> oh my goodness me! What? My eczema's just gone. No. What? Yeah, yeah. My eczema's just disappeared. That's brilliant. I know, it was there. It's there. No, it's not there. Oh my, oh my God, it's a text from Barry. Our numbers have come up. We just won the lottery. I swear I'm empty, man. It's all over the television with Piers Morgan. 
Britain's Got Talent judge, Piers Morgan, national treasure, Piers Morgan, has just been impaled on a 15-foot flagpole. Oh my God. It's horrible oh my God. news. <laughs> I mean, you can never plan a viral, and two now members of Unexpected Items have managed to launch virals. That's, that's, that's pretty impressive. Are there more plans to continue the video work and things? I think, I mean, I, I'd certainly like to carry on doing some more stuff. I think um, it's very difficult to know precisely what I have some sort of vague notions or theories about what, what, what works on YouTube. I think, you know, it's got to be, you've got to get in straight there from the first second so that people can recognise it and find it funny and that kind of thing. But it's difficult to know. I'd like to carry on putting videos up on YouTube because I think it's fun. I just like doing it. And if people like it as well, then it's a good thing. I, mean, I think we plan to, to film our sketches still, don't we? Yeah. So yeah. I think, I mean, a few people that have seen the shows have also seen other sketches we've put on there. They haven't maybe gone, you know, hit a million or whatever. I mean, I wrote one that I'm in. It's got about 100,000, which is fine, I think, you know. So, uh, yeah, I think we plan to still do that. So is, there, is there an upsetness within the group if you don't hit a million now? There's, there's the no, because I don't go for the commercial out. hits. I go <laughs> yes. for the integrity and all yeah, that yeah. sort of thing. The alternative. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, absolutely. Hello! Now, following a series of incidents in and around the community, I've been asked to give you all a little talk called, quite simply, How Far Is Too Far? Now, in today's society, it can be very difficult to know what you can say and what you can't say, and which ethnic groups you can viciously deride, and which ones you have to pretend to like. So that's why I'm here, to give you all a helping hand. For example, um, one of the sketches we do, Kat had the idea, I liked it, I, she hadn't written it, so I went away and wrote it. But most of the time, one of us has a good idea, we go away and write it, and then we sort of bring it back to the group, and often it will go through some rewrites as we're rehearsing, you know, some suggestions to an ending or something like that. I think we're all like, we're not, none of us are too sort of precious with our material in the sense that we are willing to say, okay, yeah, no, if you guys don't think that works, I sort of trust all of your collective judgments, let's try something else, and we'll always try and like, all we want to do is make the sketches the best and funniest that the audience will like the it most. must be the other side of it as well, where you suddenly turn around and go, that's just brilliant. And maybe, you're, not jealousy, but just like, that's, that's good, well done. And, and you're proud of, the, proud of one of your... Yeah, I mean, there, there, are some that, there are some that have not really changed at all, you know, that they're just, they're often sort of, say, the shorter sketches, and they just sort of, they've gone in, and they've just been as they always are, and it's just like, yeah, we know we can put that in a show, we know it's going to get, it's going to go down well, it's a good banker. And then there are some that have started off as a small idea, that have just rolled and, and snowballed into a into you know a much bigger and much funnier sketch and it's sort of, it's really nice to see the two different sort of contrasting styles. He told us that we didn't have a USP. Now that's a unique selling point to you and me. So we went away and worked on our jobs. And now we really have cut up our arms. Do you all write together still or you kind of let one person if one person comes up with a good idea, they do it? Yeah that's pretty much the latter I think. Yeah, I mean we've all contributed material to the show. But rarely do we all come together and write one sketch because I think that's quite difficult and everyone has their different styles and stuff like that and that's one of the strengths of the show is that it's very eclectic. Um, one of the sketches actually, the newest one, where I come on with big cardboard arms, that was probably the most collaborative that we've done. We've done. That and the dance sketch at the end. That and the dance sketch, yeah. But the, the dance sketch took more time than any other sketch room. Basically all we rehearsed for about two months. You'd be forgiven for walking past our rehearsal rooms and thinking that we were just a very below par dance troupe, basically. Because yeah. hours of flailing and counting and walking Below par sketch comedy group that does happen to do some dancing. But it was nice, that, that was an interesting one because it was already a sketch and then we had all these dances and we, we did just sort of put them in the middle. We knew that there would be a sort of surreal edge to it that would make it quite fun. So uh, even that was, there was already a sketch written that we knew had been going down sort of well, um, uh, that, that now sort of flanks it. With all this dancing in between, we could just put it, pop it in there. <laughs>